Hey, what's going on guys, Oink here, and in today's video I'm going to be bringing you the new set of seasonal events. We've got three new events to uh, give a go. All three of them are one make well, one car races. You're set to a specific car for each three, and of course I'll go into each one of them and uh, show you my lap. So we're going to start off here at Willow Springs, and uh, the car that we're going to be using is a um, Plymouth XNR Gear Roadster. Um, you can buy this from the dealership, it's possible you can also win this somewhere along the line, I couldn't say for sure, can't remember, but uh, you can definitely pick it up in the dealership, uh, just, you know, you can buy it. And uh, I'm still no master at Willow Springs, I definitely need to put more practice in here, I haven't got all of the, uh, the, braking, the braking markers and sort of the right lines the quickest way through, so... Uh, the lap's definitely a little bit shaky still, and uh, I'll, I'll sort of get better as as I play the game more and as I play this track more, because obviously this is one of the one of the new tracks. I'm not really familiar with it. Uh, just of yeah, I've used the uh, the streets of Willow a little bit. Obviously, that was part of the GTP qualifier for GT6, so I'm a little bit more used to that track. But this one, which is the um, Big Willow, I'm still a little bit unsure of. Um, the car itself is got a really weird rev range, it just revs up all the way up to 8,000, um, and the torque kind of carries all the way up to the end, so you don't want to shift too early, like it feels like you want to be shifting at around like 7,000, but if you do that, the car really loses power, so you really want to rev it all the way up to red line before shifting. Um, if you pick up the clutch upgrades, it might be a little bit quicker in the shift, so that's a possible upgrade if you're looking for time. Otherwise, I just used the power upgrades to get it up to the, the recommended performance points. This final corner, very tricky one. Best to get all the braking done early because of the uh, the camber. If you brake too late into that one, you'll find the car just understeers off the edge of the road on the left-hand side. And it's uh, almost irrecoverable at that point, and you'll end up in the dust. So, uh, last corner, brake nice and early and uh, get, get that all done. Wasn't the best lap in the end with a 132.5, and you need a 133 for the gold. There you go, 132.578 was the final time. Uh, you'll get around 100,000 credits just under, depending on uh, what your login bonus is. Plus, you get a special paint item there, of course. They've been adding these paint tokens in for most of the seasonal events. Second event, we're at Grand Valley East. This time in quite a, quite a different beast. This is the Diablo, the Lamborghini Diablo GT2, which I believe you can win in one of the license tests. And also, of course, you can buy it. Now, I've made some important upgrades. First of all, the drivetrain, fully customizable differential at 8, 11, and 20 on the three settings. And don't forget to increase the uh, front and rear downforce all the way up to the maximum and then get the car into the uh, performance point range. This car is either broken in stock form or extremely strangely set up that the stock differential is a absolute nightmare to get used to. The car will just start rotating with even the slightest bit of anything. Like you turn the car a tiny bit, you put the gas on a tiny bit, you brake like anything and the car gets upset and starts spinning. But the slight changes that I just made to the um, to the, the slip differential there, the customizable one, and you know the added downforce should make the car a little bit, bit more controllable. I'm sure there are some custom tunes out there. At this point, I don't really uh, bother spending too much time tuning for seasonal events because, I don't know, I don't really find the seasonal events um, kind of like worthwhile for tuning. I quite enjoy, in some sense, the challenge of doing it stock or as stock as possible. Uh, as close to stock as possible, but the few changes I made there is was was an essential one for me. The car was undrivable before that, and uh, you'll still find it understeers a little bit on the sport hard tires. I think they're on sport hards, so not much grip in the tires. So you'll really have to be patient with the car. Don't push it too hard. Just keep it really nice and smooth all the way through. And I got 107.8 again, just snuck in under the gold time, which was a one minute, uh, yeah, one minute eight for the gold on that one. Again, round 100,000 credits. My login bonus always ends up as 100% or so, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Um, but if you got more, you'll get somewhere close to 150, 200,000. And we're finishing up in a little Lotus Elise race car. You can pick either of the two race car variants of the Elise. I think it's the Elise 96 and the Elise 04, the 111R. This is the 111R race car thing is light as a feather turns in like crazy we're at brands hatch here by the way if you if you didn't know that very fun little combo i at least it's just incredible fun to drive i love these guys in gt5 they're just as fun in gt6 so really good fun car again this is almost stock just a very very slight uh, power increase i think i got uh, uh an engine tuning uh stage one maybe and then 
uh, maybe slight fiddle with the power limit to just get it into the performance point range. Um, but yeah, other than that, completely stock, and it drives like a beauty around here. The corners, um, just like it's got the perfect speed for these. Only thing to watch out for, because this is a very kind of short wheelbase, mid-engine car, it's got this kind of like roundabout kind of feeling, like the weight is very central in the car, so when you come off the gas, or when you turn into the corner coming off the brakes, you'll find the car definitely rotates uh, in quite a, a quick way, like it kind of swivels like around a sort of central pivot point almost, and you'll find that if you uh, let the, the weight transfer a bit too quickly, and it can end up in a spin, but if you just get used to how the car handles and really get a feeling for it, you'll kind of be able to use that to your advantage and get the car to turn in very quickly. Uh, and really, it's, it's a super nippy car. That was like my third lap, somehow I ended up 2,000th on the leaderboard. I mean, that wasn't too bad, I thought, for like a second or third lap. Anyway, 126 for the time I got, 130 is what you need for the gold. And that one's a little bit more credits with uh, around 130,000 credits there, and you'll get a matte red for that one. That wraps up the new season events, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.